Hey guys, it's been a, a lot of mornings since I have come out here. Oh my god, Wolf is gonna. Uh, seems like my head's really big if you're blocking a tired dog, but yeah. So it's been a lot of mornings since I came out here and had my chit chat with you and stared at my mountains that I can't see because of overcast. But um, yeah, uh, today is, what is today? Wednesday, the 27th, I believe. And um, I don't know what's going on today. I need to soak up some sun and I need to like <sighs> rejuvenate myself somehow because I can't have coffee. <sighs> I woke up to like the best thing on Hulu. If Bill Street Could Talk was on Hulu because you know, I don't know if you guys know, it was um, based off a of James Baldwin book. Everybody look up James Baldwin because he spoke the truth. Anyway. It was a James Baldwin book and they made a movie out of it. I'm like, cool, I'm gonna go see it. But it was only in select cities. So when I woke up this morning and I saw, child, that it was on Hulu, honey, something I already paid for, I'm ready, I'm ready. So I'm gonna have to make time for that. So I don't know how long it's gonna be on there. Are you doing anything that they can't see, Wolf? Are you doing things that the people can't see? It's looking at me crazy. <laughs> Are you doing stuff that people can't see? Uh, he said look away if you don't want to see. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to watch that. I don't know when I'm going to be able to, but I'm going to try to fit it into my schedule at some point. I'm really excited. Also, I can't remember. There was something else on there too. Oh, this series that started on Hulu. I can't remember what it's called. But Kimana wanted to watch it. She already had started watching it with Alec and um, I got to catch up to them so I can talk to them about it. So that's something else. I haven't really been watching TV or anything lately so I'm missing a whole bunch of stuff. I try to sit down with Kimana and we try to catch up on shows together because that's our little bonding time. But um, we get sidetracked with other things. We're supposed to be like starting working out and doing yoga and stuff like that together so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, we're just trying to get in a regiment together. I keep seeing floaty things. And it's bothering me. I have like six days, seven days, like four, like ten days until my sister and my nephew get here. So I'm super, y'all don't even know, excited. So I'm getting excited for that. I'm trying to be like stretching it all out because my nephew loves to run and I want to be able to run with him. So I'm about to, you know, force myself to be at the peak of my physicalness that he remembers and, um, you know, that's that. If it had to deal with weight, then I would have been straight since this whole ordeal started. I have lost like 28 pounds. But it doesn't have to do with weight, actually. So, you know, I listen, listen, listen. Okay, I've been uh, thickums and bigums my whole entire life. I don't care about that part. I just want to be able to be physical because big girls can still run, big girls can still exercise, big girls can still do it all. So, you don't have to be skinny to be doing all these things. Trust and believe me when I say it. But um, now with the uh, Cipro situation, it messed with my joints, my muscles, and my tendons. So that changes the dynamic of things because all that ish hurts now. So walking is difficult. It has nothing to do with the bigums. It just is now. They mess with my tendons. You don't want to rupture things. You don't want to push it. So, you know, I'm doing things that are not going to hurt me. So my daughter was out there jump roping and I think she did something to her Achilles. So, but that was my morning thing. I had a weight. I did jump roping. I did um, a whole bunch of exercises every single morning. And uh, now it's very limited. I want to get back to that because I love my morning routine. Get up at 530, get in the garage, sweat it out, then go for a walk and then, you know, repeat it the next day. But now it's difficult. So. <sighs> Try not to be sad about it, you know, but it's kind of sad. Anyways, let's move on from that negative talk because I'm going to get back. Mind over matter, right? Mind over matter. So this lens is driving me absolute bat crazy because I can see dirt in Israel. I'm trying to be like super experimental. I have my front door open. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. 
no, 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 no. He's already trying it. You see him? I can't even leave it open. <laughs> what are you doing? Don't try to act good because the vlog's on. The people seeing you. Mm. What are you doing? You see how he's looking at you guys? This is a little baby dog game. For back in the day, wolf pals. <laughs> he's trying to find ways around it, through it. I know he knows how to hop over it. I'm gonna have to snatch his butt mid air. Mm -hmm. So earlier today, we had a semi emergency. It seemed like we had a gas leak. Let me turn around. The gas people came out because I don't play, and then there was no gas leak. But um, I've been craving something sweet. So I'm about to make, what do they call them? I think oatmeal energy, oh, I'm sorry guys. Oatmeal energy bite. So it says you can make 10 bottles out of this. And all you need is two tablespoons of natural creamy peanut butter, a half a cup of oats, and one fourth cup of shredded coconut. Sweeten or unsweeten, it's your choice. I don't even know what I have on hand. I believe it's sweetened, but that's what I will be using. I don't know if I will yield the 10 balls because I make my balls big. Hear how it looks. Balls. Ow, it's like, you guys, this is how it looks. See that crumbs? Can you see that? I failed at it, but here's how it looks right now. Oddly shaped. Oh, it looks kind of looks like hamburger meat. Or it's been so long since I saw hamburger meat that it looks like hamburger meat to me. Mm, but it's chickpeas and beets. Beet juice. Beet juice for the win. Anyways, as far as the black eyed peas goes, it was in the beginning of this. Shout out to Alec. He was listening to it today too. But let me get back to cooking because I'm going to burn it if I talk to you guys because I start to get long-winded and Lord knows I don't have any more chickpeas to remake it but if it sucks then oh god then it doesn't matter but if it's actually good then all this matters. usually we use the red one for meat but I'm using it today oh my god I don't know guys Pray for my family. I mean, it would be healthy alternative to all the burgers we buy, plus it's cheaper to get a can of chickpeas at the Dollar Tree, you know, and then get all these ingredients. Cause I got the beets from the Dollar Tree. I got pretty much everything minus my six pepper blend from the Dollar Tree. So if this works out, then bruh, we just saved a ton of money by switching to Geico. But anyways, I will talk to you guys later and I'll let you know <sighs> reactions. Hopefully they're good. I mean, if they're bad, it just is what it is. And sometimes it, a recipe don't work out like the um, carrot corn dog thing I did not that long ago. <sighs> you know, sometimes ish doesn't work out, but don't stop yourself from trying because yeah. This is PSA, PSA, PSA brought to you by me. Keep going. Even if your family thinks your cooking sucks, keep trying new recipes. I mean, they have to eat. And if you're the only one that cooks, they have to choke it down. I used to make three um, three meals. The third meal was because of my son. He was very particular. He liked a lot of processed food back in the day. So I would have to make him like chicken nuggets in order for him to eat. And then my dad was like, yo. He's running you, just kind of like the doctor told us back in the day. He was like, he's running you. So you need to stop and stop giving him a choice and you need to make him eat what y'all are eating. And I was like, okay. And that's when we introduced ranch. And he just still to this day douses everything in ranch before he even tries it. And I want to choke him, but I don't because um, I don't know. I don't need those problems. So he's still here and I already burnt him. See, and I talked to you guys too long. But it's okay. Hello guys, we are on our way to Sprouts to pick up water. I'm a day late for the sale on water. It was like $1.79 for a 24 pack. A couple days, I think yesterday was the last day for it. So now it's like 
250 or something like that. It's very sad, but it's still cheaper than Target. But if it turns out that it's higher than Target, Target's across the street, and I'm gonna go get my regular reverse osmosis water because I'm gonna tell you guys I'm dry AF right now because I did not drink water. Every time I try to drink water out of the fridge, every time I try to drink water out of our fridge, it's I don't know if it's really filtered or not. It's just coming through a filter, but it tastes weird and I don't like it. My body doesn't like it, so I need to get water or else I'm gonna be dry like this, you know, and dehydrated. I don't feel good today because I did not drink water. So that's where I'm at in my life, dehydrated and trying to get this water before I die. So you got anything to say? Yes, we're gonna get this purified, wonderful water versus the tap water she doesn't like. I don't personally, know I don't have a problem with water. Okay. I th it's nice and filtered to me, but she thinks it doesn't taste right. This is a guy that mixes random ass condiments together and calls wow, it a really? meal. So, random ass condiments? <laughs> really? For myself, so, random? Yeah, like, you know, a ketchup, mustard, freaking, you throw like three pieces of cheese in there and calls it a meal. So, no, I don't trust his judgment. Wow. And y'all shouldn't either because he don't know what good, something good tastes like. He just throws random stuff together. So, no. Don't trust this man with your meal or your water selection because he don't know. Either he don't know don't oh, show really or don't care what's the going on in your body <laughs> what is oh my god no this is on the side of the house you guys yeah. oh my no you need any oh my no it has to go it has to go it has to go really kevin oh, the ecosystem kevin ah! where'd it go it went up the pipe it's gonna, it went up